Ladies, 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 I'm here tonight on this show, and I'm here to talk about the second of a three-game series between the Baltimore Orioles and the uh, New York Yankees. Da Yankees lose! Da Yankees lose! Uh, the Orioles get a 9-7 to seven victory uh, here over the New York Yankees. They've took the first two games of this series here. Uh, two good wins, man. Their starting pitching's uh, done pretty solid with... Um, Appreciate Dean Kramer and Zach Eflin really wasn't his normal self today. Uh, he walked a lot of batters, and he normally doesn't walk a lot of batters. But the Yankees just let them let them off the hook. You know they tried a, a rally in the um, ninth inning, got a Soto single on a three-run homer from Judge, but they couldn't get any closer than that. So the Orioles uh, with this win, their magic number for clinching the number one. Wild card spot is now only one game, so unless the Tigers finish 4 0 and the Orioles finish 0 4, one wild card series will be in Baltimore, there will be in Houston. So, just a rough game, though, for the Yankees. They didn't play well in this game early. Their offense really left a lot of chances. Felt like Chisholm had the bases loaded and a one pitch fly out. He's really struggled lately. They just did not play well early in this game. Just the early deficit really cost them. Stroman was bad. Um, the dude's been bad for some time. He had to start today because Nestor Cortez on the 15-day IL. I mean, they tried to rally back later on, but you can't get those big deficits in these type of games. And they still haven't clinched their division yet. There's a possibility they get swept tomorrow. They're going to win their division. I don't think they're going to lose <laughs> all their games the rest of the season. But Stroman, he's been bad. And his... Starting pitcher was throwing about 80, he was throwing 87 miles per hour at four seamers. Like, he, he just isn't good. 10 hit, 6 earned runs tonight. He just didn't execute and he didn't do this job at, out, out there to keep the team in position to win. He's just not a good pitcher anymore. And Aaron Boone talked about after the game, he's thought, he's discussed his performance. Thought the stuff was okay. His actual stuff is good and it's making some pitches. I beg you, I beg you, bite her one, Aaron Boone. I beg you, bite her one. Triple big game, Stro chokes when it counts. <laughs> the Orioles also thought, probably thought his stuff was okay to hit it all over the park tonight. Like, what is Aaron Boone? Just sucks at talking to the media. He was terrible. He allowed ten hits in three point one innings. You're telling me uh, his stuff he had out there tonight was okay? You sure about that, Aaron Boone? Oh man. Boone is just terrible. Such a terrible manager. Terrible. But, um, yeah, the Orioles kicked the Yankees' ass, really, for uh, eight innings until they made a rally. So, despite the bomb, late bomb from Aaron Jones, the Yankees have to wait another night to celebrate a division title. If they win tomorrow, they get it. But we said that, I said it last night, that I thought they would win tonight, and they didn't. So the Orioles win nine to seven. They have a chance to sweep here. Yeah, but we'll talk about uh, the records. We'll get all this shit out of the way. Just hung over the lineup to get my final thoughts here. Uh, Orioles win nine to seven, 88 and seventy record. They had seventeen total hits uh, for nine runs. Scored three in the first, four in the fourth, one in the fifth, and then one in the eighth. For the Yankees, scored seven runs. They dropped to a ninety-two and sixty-six record. 10 total hits for 7 runs, scored 1 in the 2nd, 2 in the 5th, and 4 in the ninth. 10 total hits, 7 runs, had 1 air defensively. Scoring summary, Colton Kaiser singled in the, in the top of the 1st, made it 2-0, and Mount Castle then singled, make it 3-0, both in the bottom of the 2nd, then singles. Then top of the 4th, Henderson with a 2-RBI single. Santon, Day, and Cavs reach double to make it 6-1, 7-1. McCain with an RBI single to make it 8-1. Then Soto Homer to make it 8-3. Then Westberg with a single to make it 9-3. Then the bottom nine Soto single and then Judge Homer, which ended up making the final 9-7. So now let's get to the pitching, pitching for the Yankees. Um, the hell, um, Marcus Stroman, 3.1 innings pitch, 10 hits, 6 earned runs, no walks, 1 strikeout. The dude was terrible. Um... As a team, they were just bad pitching. Gave up 17 hits. Stroman, 3 and 3rd. Gave up 10 hits, 6 runs. It's going to be a tough game tomorrow for the Yankees. You know, Corbin Burns pitching tomorrow. It's going to be a good pitching matchup. Um, 
It's a good fight back, but he shouldn't have, have, have had that big of a hole in the beginning. Sherman gave them nothing, knocked around left and right. The defense wasn't great behind him tonight, I thought, um, as well. But his pitches are too hittable to be counted on. He's, I just don't think he'd be effective out of the bullpen either. So, maybe you should have gave Poteet the start today. Even if he had a limit, they probably said he'd be used as starter down the line. Uh, as snorter if, if needed down the line. So then Cody Poteet goes, or yeah, or no, Clayton Beater, one point one innings pitch, three hits, Sean runs one walk, two strikeouts. Cody Poteet, three point one innings pitch, three hits, one earned run, one walk, three strikeouts. Good uh, stuff out of the bullpen from Cody Poteet. They should have pitched him tonight. Then Mark Leader Jr. one inning, one hit, no runs, no walks, and three strikeouts. So now we'll get to the offense here. Uh, Torres, 1 for 5. Soto, 2 for 4. 1 walk, 3 RBIs. Uh, Judge, 2 for 4 and a walk, 3 RBIs. Wales, 0 for 4 and a walk. Stanton, 1 for 4 and a walk. Just home over. He's really struggled lately. They had the bases loaded in one of those innings. Flies out on the first pitch. What the, what the hell's happening? Um, Dominguez, 1 for 4. He, I mean, he's not good in that outfield. He, him or Verdugo defensively. Rizzo, 2 for 3, a walk, and 2 runs scored, and Volpe, 1 for 4, and an RBI for the Orioles. Zach Eflin didn't have a time, uh, 4.2 innings pitch, 4 hits, 300 runs, 5 walks, 1 strike. He normally doesn't walk a lot of batters, just command issues, really not like him. So, but he was, uh, it wasn't great, the command just wasn't there. Jacob Webb, 1.1 innings pitch, 2 hits, 9 runs, and walks, 1 strikeout, Columbia. Danny Columbia, one inning, no hits, no runs, no walks, no strikeouts. And Gregory Soto, one inning, no hits, no runs, no walks, and two strikeouts. He's been very good in these first two games of this series. Matt Bowman, point, one innings pitch, four hits, four earned runs, no walks, and one strikeout, which made it a safe situation for Keegan Aiken. Goes point, two innings pitch, no hits, no runs, no walks, and no strikeouts. So now we'll get to the offense here. Gunnar Henderson, three for five, two RBIs. Westberg and Santander, each two for five and an RBI. Cows are two for four walk. Three RBIs. Mount Castle, one for five and RBI. O'Hearn, one for five. Urias, one for five. Mullins, three for four and a walk and three runs scored. Really good game from Cedric Mullins. And McCann, two for five and an RBI. So everybody in their starting lineup uh, had a hit tonight. So the Orioles offense had really been struggling until this series. They've really come alive against this Yankee, the Yankees pitching, which maybe it's the right time for them to heat up. We'll see. Offense was great. They made they made it interesting in that ninth inning, but they ended up getting it done. It's never easy. Got a little bit scary at the end, but they've lost up or they've won the first two games. So Yankees, they're still at four games. I still expect to win this division, but it's gonna be a great pitching match at Mark Garrett Cole, um, Corbin Burns. We'll see what happens there. But it's all to say here until next time. I'm Michael Light. Peace. Leave a like, comment, subscribe for more.